Hi, I'm uh, Gary, Whiskey for Echo Echo Yankee, and this is the last in a series of videos comparing weak signal single sideband intelligibility. Uh, today I would like to compare uh, my friend's uh, 8600M Flex Radio with my ICOM IC7760. Uh, I was having some issues with intelligibility on my uh, older 6600. Uh, if you saw the last video, you'll see that the version 3.9 software seems to have improved that. I mean, uh, I tied them. I, I said they're the equal. They're, it's a tie between the 6600 and the 7760. So that's eight-year-old uh, hardware from Flex Radio. Well, the newest hardware is the 8600 or the 8000 series. And so we're going to compare that using exactly the same... Uh, set up otherwise, uh, Maestro uh, here in my ham shack uh, and uh, the IC7760 connected up to my uh, uh, Blackmagic Design ATEM switcher and we're going to do some weak signal uh, comparative measurements on 20 meters. I tried to do this yesterday but the band was completely dead here at my QTH in the early morning. Um, it's not that much better. I'm looking down at the display here on the Maestro and I'm not seeing a lot of signals. So we may have to see what we can do as far as finding signals to compare. So there may be an edit here or there. Uh, again, we're using um, the Flex Maestro C. Uh, we have the AGCT set to just reduce noise. I may try tweaking that a little bit. Um, and tried to make the two radios uh, equal in every way as far as attenuation, as far as preamps are off, uh, as far as audio bandwidth, and no equalization. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's take a listen here. Here is the Flex 8600M. Here's the icon. This is the eighty six hundred. A lot of variability in propagation. Paul, 
Got you, not real fast. Uh, we got you in there this morning. I hope the band holds up so we can listen to that. I'll hear more from you. Okay, anybody else? Four hours and one down. Okay, uh, very good job. I got you. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to talk to this. That would be Frank, right? I hope it's talking on HF here, but if not, you might have to. Go ahead, Chris. Have you been to the Okay, well, I don't even know if this is a valid test um, because uh, 20 meter propagation today is just so up and down. Uh, we've had uh, a lot of uh, solar issues uh, going on, um, you know, flares and even radio blackouts over the past week. Um, I can conclude that I think each radio um, flex versus the ICOM has what I call a distinct sound. I think the flex radios are are open, um, breathy, uh, have have more high frequencies. The ICOMs, I don't know what it has to do with filter shape or, or audio engineering or what have you, uh, tend to have, have a more mellow, um, uh, rounded sound to me. Just my personal opinion here. In this case, with the new software on today's measurement, I'd probably give the, the lead just slightly to the ICOM 7760 versus the 8600. But, you know, the other day when we did it with the 6600, they were pretty much even Steven. So I would expect the 8600 should be even Steven as well. So it may just be the conditions uh, here on uh, 20 meters. Again, the receive antenna is my shortened beverage, 130 foot uh, pointed toward the northeast, being fed through an ELAD HF multi-coupler so that uh, each radio is receiving the same signal. Uh, and um, hmm, so you can come to your own conclusion. Um, this is kind of like religion. I mean, it's difficult to, to choose which is the best radio. <laughs> I got started on doing this because I wanted to maybe self-justify why did I buy the, the new ICOM? 
Um, I'm still very happy uh, with the ICOM 7760. I think it's a great radio. Um, I'm very happy with Flex uh, that they came out with the 3.9 software that seems to have improved uh, my Flex 6600. And we'll be using the Flex 6600 in our ham radio classes here on the channel. Uh, starting in September, we have a technician class and an extra class. And uh, so we'll be using the 6600 and its wonderful spectrum display uh, to demonstrate uh, certain aspects of HF amateur radio operation. In any event, that's the uh, the conclusion for today is that mm, they're, they're, they're close. Slight advantage today to the 7760. That might change tomorrow, uh, but uh, appreciate you coming along for the ride in any case. Uh, make a comment uh, down below. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Until uh, next time, let me say 73. We'll see you from Whiskey 4, Echo Echo Yankee. Ciao.